All right, we're going to try to do another episode here of this podcast that only a very few people listen to. The less listeners, the better. I started out with zero listeners, and if I have to go back to zero listeners, I don't give a fuck, you fucking jerks. Well, folks, uh, it's a beautiful Sunday uh, afternoon here, and uh, start out for the talk about my boring week. Man, I didn't really do much this week. I didn't, uh, before we get to anything, I tried to upload some YouTube shorts had a, a comedy bit that I thought was good, but YouTube, when it gave me like 40-something views for it, I tried to upload it like fucking 15 times, and uh, I couldn't, I used to, it's, it's weird, I used to get like a thousand views for my shorts, if I was lucky, and now I can't even get a hundred, it's so weird, I mean, I didn't break any rules, I didn't get any strikes or anything, but I guess YouTube realized this guy's a little too naughty, he's a little too based, hey, let's uh, cut him down, and that's what they did, so then, uh, fucking, uh, but on uh, Wednesday, I went to the tap room in Jersey, that's become my go-to open mic, and, uh, you know, I got some food as usual and everything, and I was hanging out, and, uh, I went on stage number eight, so I didn't write a set out, so I started out, I did a joke where I said the Chinese were slope heads, because they won't stop at a stop sign, you know, I mean, they, could do, they could do math or something, and I got a shock and reaction, and this one comedian there said, people keep thinking he's Jewish, so I said, uh, you know, Jews are sneaky, I was joking around, and then, of course, the Muslim chick and the black chick from last week went on after me and the Muslim chick. She said something like, oh, I'm glad that I, w- I work in politics and I don't have to be near this Josh or something like that. And I was just like, why the fuck would I want to be near you? First of all, you fucking stink with that burqa on. Fucking stinks like fucking Muslim bean pies. And then, of course, the older black chick came up and she didn't say my name, but she was pointing to my table like, you know, it's, it's so weird how comedians, they turn on you just because they don't like your jokes. Like, you don't like my jokes, fine. There's a lot of people who don't like my jokes, but to trash me on stage, you know, it's like, like, your jokes are amazing. Like, go, you're at a comedy open mic like everybody else. Go fuck yourself. And then this black guy who lives in a homeless shelter, who's kind of cool, said, oh, I thought you were one of the good ones. You're not one of the good ones. He was joking around, but he wasn't. And he trashed me a little bit. And I was just like, fuck everybody, you know? Fuck all these comedians. I try to fucking cancel me. Speaking of that, this coming week is my open mic, so hopefully I'll, uh, have some fun. It's a Labor Day, so I'm not expecting that many comics. If I'm lucky, I'll get seven, but maybe we'll get a couple more. Who knows? Probably not. And then, uh, what else? And then I fucking uploaded another YouTube short where I put on a, I was fucking sweating my balls off. I put on a, a fucking, uh, dress shirt and a suit jacket, and I had on a wig, and I had on glasses, I had my lights on, and it was hot as sh- It wasn't that hot on Thursday, but because I had no air in my room, I was fucking sweating recording this bit over and over, the little Wayne bit when I drop a freestyle. Once once again, I uploaded it about four or five times. YouTube doesn't give me hardly any views for it. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Fuck YouTube, man. They suck. So then Friday night, I went down to Old City, as you guys know, and I checked on the Ashley Kratz brick, and it's still there for the third week in a row. Someone just flipped it over, so I flipped it back, allegedly, allegedly. We'll check back on it next week, hopefully next Saturday, if we can get down there. And then uh, not much really else happened after the stream was over. I talked to the uh, black Asian bouncer at the Nationals. Same old, same old. He was trying to get me to go in there. I was like, nah, he's like, go in there and dance with some girls in there. And I was like, eh. I was like, you know, I used to dance in my 20s to try to get girls. I'm I'm done with it. Unless I'm dancing for a goof, I'm not dancing anymore. So I only talked to him about 20 minutes. And then uh, Saturday, you guys saw the live stream where I went to Taco Bell, got some food, took two poops on my live stream. A lot of people do call me a shitty streamer. I'm already a shitty comedian, a shitty podcaster, and a shitty person, so, hey, might as well go with it. So, anyways, uh, that was pretty much my boring week, folks. Created some content as far as what's on the channel next week. I'm going to try to write down some numbers from Craigslist. Can't promise a prank call show, but I'm going to try. And, uh, fucking, uh, whatever else, man. Uh, you know, of course, more live streams. There's no, there's no open mic at the, at the Jersey mic on Wednesday, so... Probably going out Wednesday, just bullshit in the area. And uh, hopefully my open mic, I get another YouTube short from that. Hopefully I'll get some new jokes from this segment. And speaking of that, here's a segment you guys probably don't like. But I like it because it gets me jokes from my shitty stand-up act. It's time to get to the odd news. All right, uh, Chicago TV crews crew robbed at gunpoint. Why reported on a string of robbers? That's how dangerous the city of Chicago is. Even when the reporters are doing their job, they get robbed. Missing dog reunited with uh, Arizona family after 12 years. Yeah, but that sucks, though. 12 years of pain and suffering. That dog's an asshole. Uh, Obese uh, patients treated on hospital ground floor because of fears of concrete collapse. 
Arrests made after a man was stabbed in the chest with a sword in Ontario, Canada. Uh, you know, he doesn't sound, he doesn't sound that sharp. <laughs> All right. Woman named Bar uh, Barbie Oppenheimer says she's having a triple trouble checking in hotels. They don't believe that's her name? Why not? Uh, Dallas uh, apartment in Vic's tenant throws belongings in a dumpster, but it was the wrong unit. Louisiana professor asked students to paint their faces to fulfill his clown fetish. I heard about this. This guy's not clowning around. Uh, PA's cat themed silver arm museum weds history and whimsy. This looks like this guy looks funny just by his picture. It's a white guy with a beard, kind of silly looking. Indiana man, no, it's not Burger Planet. Spread some love by waving at passing cars while naked. He looks like a neuter. A large scale gambling ring uh, uncovered in M Milford, Massachusetts after police raid a backyard volleyball game. So they were gambling on volleyball games? The only reason to watch volleyball is see those girls in those shorts with their tight little butts. Teen accused of biting a Neko employee's testicles after being denied entrance. He just got right on his knees and started biting his balls. That's weird. Man removes half of his car roof and windshield so his bull howdy duty can write shotgun. Oh, he has a bull on top of his car. Oh, that's interesting. And he got stopped by the police. Uh, Leah Brown admits to having sex with a cow at a Burton farm. Uh, and then you guys think I'm trying to milk that story. Okay, I used that punchline before. Um, Apple AirTag helps catch thief who stole over US 1 million. Jet view man hurt after mountain uh, Geneva's giant fountain. So he was fucking a fountain? Um, did he spray afterwards? All right. Otter unmasses Chester's Hotel 100,000 Koi Carp Thief. Why highly uh, radioactive wild pigs havoc in Germany. Uh, Clog Tauli leads to five arrests at Papa B's restaurant in Longwood. So five people got arrested for shitting? What's the story about? I gotta read a little bit more. Uh, five women. Oh, it's, oh yeah, it was black women. I remember that. I didn't want to show the pictures. It was uh, a clog totally at Poppy's restaurant in with a large fight at their police around 9.50 p.m. Upon arrival, police learned that the restaurant has been attacked by a group of customers. Yeah, they're all black. I didn't want to show them, by the way. Look at Listen to the names. Kianda Charles. Kanisha. Oh my god, I'm not joking, dude. Kanisha, Taisha, Jasmine, and Jalea. You gotta love the black names, folks. You gotta love them. Uh, don't strike this for hate speech. I'm just making some jokes here. Fucking relax. Five million bees fall off a golf line in Burlington, Ontario. I know you guys think I'm just trying to sting you here in these stories, but I'm... <laughs> the Dungeons and Dragons players of Death Row. Children, children's uh, author accused of murder allegedly had history of trying to poison her husband. She's, you guys would like her. She's a white girl. She's fairly attractive. You guys love white girls, even though they don't love you and they love the BBC. White sock shooting happened after a woman snuck gun and via belly fat. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't say my catchphrase this episode. Where's my chicken pot pie? Where's my chicken pot pie? There we go. Uh, city official forced to resign after, after offering doom loom walking tour of San Francisco. It looks like Kensington. With all the fucking trash on the ground and all the drugs. Kensington's got some competition. Burger King must face lawsuit claiming its whoppers are too small. I had a double whopper yesterday and that's one of the reasons why I was pooping last night. I had a double whopper from Burger King for lunch. I know this is a poop show. And then I had Taco Bell for dinner. So... <laughs> Tourists face his federal charges after stumbling into a Yellowstone hot spring while under the influence. Connecticut man charged after finding $5,000 outside a bank. Says he just took the cash and called it a day. I mean, if you find it, you should be able to keep it. You guys remember that episode of Doug Funny? Yep, uh, Doug Funny, the show where Doug, he finds the money, then he brings it back to the bank and the old lady and stuff like that. It's like, you found the fucking money there, Dougie. Keep it. Florida school officials apologize for assembling... Uh, assembly slinging out black students about low test scores. Well, listen, we already lowered the standards about everything else. Hey, who said that? That was my new conscious thing. A live nematode 
Uh, Hadar Kuris Rubs uh, has been removed from the brain of a 64-year-old woman. I don't even want to read it anymore. A live worm was found in an Australian woman's brain. Uh, wait, let me think. Never mind. Uh, a Virginia woman accused of sexually abusing twins after her husband discovers her topless with a teen. She's like a white lady with blonde hair and a mullet. You guys would fuck her because you guys love white girls. They love BBC. Uh, Iranian realtor arrested for selling an apartment to a dog. Like an actual dog. Two dead after driving car into a flooded road in Liverpool. Uh, Flat Rock Sergeant arrived at crime scene arm intoxicated. I think I read that last week. All right, well, let's go to one more s- source. No one listens to this show anymore. I don't care. Hundreds of drugs users in this, arrested in San Francisco. And it shows all the drugs. 25-year-old man having, uh, caught having sex with a cow. Uh, you want to try to milk that story? Okay, we did that already. Uh, appearance of pirates in San, San Francisco Bay leaves uh, boaters and marinas on edge. Canadian authorities race to capture 5 million bees from roadway spill. Jackass star Steve O stuns and admits uh, latest ill-advised venture creeps me out. Uh, Road Pig, no, not Lizzo. All right, guys, come on, leave her alone. Caught after two weeks on the run, she was shoving bananas up her dancer's pussy. She's not a good of a person. Enough, enough. Uh, Jamaican man who tried the identity info. In, oh, I think I read that already. Uh, Large scale gambling, uh, volleyball game. We read that. Uh, Somebody's been read it already. I'm trying to get to some stuff we had. Oh, this is good. Uh, no, not good. Uh, I thought it was about prank calls. Never mind. Uh, slow roll out of Canada. Disability benefits. Sports call for emergency. Support from Ottawa. Um, how did martinis get so weird? Chicken stock? I don't know. Uh, Otter? Unamasses. Ch- Ch- Chester's $100,000 carp thief. Red, e- uh, Red Eats p- uh, Patio. That's a restaurant. Damaged after being hit by a truck. So Red Eats. You mean Red from that 70s show? I'm going to put my foot up in your ass. Uh, newest uh, surgeon investigated patient's mystery symptoms. Uh, Plocks a worm from a woman's brain. We read that. Mysterious Joy Duck returns to Belfast. Brings two friends. Neighbor caught on camera rejected poison uh, under the door of family home after noise complaints. It's an Asian guy. A woman finds grenades while cleaning out her father's home. This show's going to blow up soon. All right. Uh, that joke will not... Self, that joke was self-destruct in five seconds. Okay. Uh, parasite worm discovered in woman's brain. We read that already. People, uh, as China's economy continues to struggle, young people are choosing to become full-time children. Well, that, they're doing that here in America. <laughs> uh, I think we're almost coming down to the wire here, folks. Uh, Denmark Fire Department reminds drivers to use common sense after vehicles told in, uh, after an ATV trail. Silicon Valley writes revealed as buyers of $800 million of land build up a city. Riders in uh, various states of un- underdressed crews in Philadelphia and its 14th negative bike ride. Where is this? I always miss it, but you can't film it on YouTube. But uh, Florida woman's finger is settled in a library box. I read that last week. Well, folks, uh, that's it for the show. We banged out another awful episode that only a few people would check out. Once again, I could get a fuck less. But once again, uh, this is the first but yet worst comedy podcast in Philly. And this is your favorite podcast show that most people would not listen to. And folks, we'll see you on the next one. You just listen to. And we're out of here. Go fuck yourself, Cuffy. <laughs>